Hey, what up, boys? So with this month's live stream approaching, it's time we scrape together the lowest quality content to try and speculate on our subject matter. Yes, that's right, you've tuned into a corpse of a channel desperately trying to make content for a game that quite literally doesn't exist. But before we get into that, our beautiful patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs and I would love for you to grab yourself a Dopa because actually we know exactly what this month's showcase is because, well, Steven told us. And today I'm going to relay that to you with a bunch of bullshit slapped on top so I can hit that juicy eight minute mark for ad revenue. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So this month, the fighter is in the spotlight, one of the most popular classes in literal gaming history. So you bet your ass Intrepid have a pretty exciting showcase planned for us. Or, you know, it'll be a male human warrior swinging a greatsword around and we can spend another month wondering if this game is a goddamn scam, but I digress. Breaking news, breaking news. Stephen Sharif has announced on Twitter that we will be seeing more than just a human fighter this month. We will be getting the reveal of the Renkai race for the first time in Ashes of Creation history. Oh my god, I'm just... <laughs> In addition to this, Steven also revealed that alongside the fighter showcase, we'll also get to see the story arc they teased at the end of last month's livestream, revealing more of that finite content that we'll be participating in during Alpha 2, but don't worry about that. We don't want spoilers, do we guys? We want Intrepid to reveal every single piece of content in one section of the world, so we already know it like the back of our hands before Alpha 2 even starts, but I digress. Fighter has been a long-awaited architect type and appeals to 90% of dad gamers out there, so I am excited to see Intrepid's take on this archetype. What's interesting is that Intrepid actually revealed the fighter's class mechanic months ago with the name drop of Momentum. What this could be and how this mechanic functions will very much be the bread and butter of the class and hopefully puts a spin on it that makes Ashes of Creation's version unique and interesting. Although if the previous class mechanics are anything to go by, it's very likely going to be a bar that goes upwards during combat and then goes downwards when you press buttons. Very riveting indeed. But I digress, because there's more to Ashes of Creation's combat systems that meets the eye. Stamina has always been planned for Ashes of Creation, and what better class to reveal it on than the fighter itself? But there's no reason for me to explain it when Mr. Stephen Sharif himself can do it for us. There is intended to be an interaction between different types of reactive and predictive skill sets, of which if a player is in a state such as an active block or an active tumble state, there will likely be some types of abilities that interact with uh, reacting to those types of states and will either overcome, surpass, or cancel out those states, uh, particularly as it relates to not just active blocking, but also potentially passive blocking as well. You're not right sure now. if the final answer is that we will have active blocking yeah, I, or I not. Just, well, I just had a discussion with the combat team last week uh, mm -hmm. with Trad and with Brian about um, how we're going to implement the active blocking into the Alpha 2 kits, and that is something we are moving forward with. Try. Right now, that's going to be tested with a stamina-based system, which is universal energy, of course, across all the different classes. And yeah, that'll be something we showcase in a future in a future live stream, I think. Right okay. now, it's very much in development. Interesting indeed, and although I'm not a fan of active blocking, I am open to change my mind with an interesting resource-type system governing global in-combat utilities such as sprinting, blocking, and dodging to add genuine in depth, skill, and meaning to the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Or it'll just fall flat and be another puddle-deep mechanic like ESO, Guild Wars 2, and New World, but I digress. Ashes of Creation's combat has gotten a lot of flack over the years, many many people complaining about the tab style being outdated. However, tab targeting can be fast paced, it can be skill based, and it can offer highly rewarding moment to moment gameplay. 
play. And the perfect game to demonstrate this is World of Warcraft. That is why it remains number one still. Classic and even retail have the best combat out there and it's not even close. But what about Ashes of Creation? To me, the fighter would be the perfect opportunity to show off some of that fast-paced, skill-focused gameplay managing your cooldowns, class resource, crowd control and mobility spells to show off a genuine, exciting sequence. The fighter itself is a frontline DPS brawler, and we've seen a couple of the spells that it has in its kit already with the giant hammer stun and the whirlwind abilities. Clearly, the fighter is going to excel in cleaving whilst taking a bunch of punishment in return, so show that off. Ashes of Creation's combat is labelled as hybrid and therefore has two control schemes available to it. Intrepid are essentially copying Guild Wars 2's combat with some additional tweaks, so hopefully this month's showcase is primarily focused on that action style control scheme instead of the traditional one because 90% of audiences don't even understand what it is and they've been following the game for eight years making assumptions and spreading misinformation god forbid they try the game that it's inspired from am i right guys use it and explain what changed demonstrate how the keybinds have changed but please emphasize how the game's targeting and combat remain pretty much almost the same for anyone who's played guild wars 2 they understand that both the combat modes are identical mechanics wise but a lot of people don't realize that it essentially turns ashes of creation's control scheme into an action style game a game like black desert a game like new world but just tweaked to allow that smooth mmorpg style gameplay but i digress whilst we're on this note listen steven my man no offense but you're shit at the game please for the love of God, towards the end of the showcase when you've shown off all the abilities individually, please pass the controls over to a dev who know how to use the kit to really show off the fighter's potential. Kind of like what you did with the major showcase, because that was a genuinely great idea and you haven't used it since for some reason. Anyone who's played some form of high-level WoW gameplay knows why WoW's combat is the best, but unfortunately, you're not showing your combat's strengths to its fullest, and I can't tell whether it's incompetent or lack of experience, but I digress. To conclude today's video, I just want to briefly talk about an observation I made during the PvP Caravan Showcase that made me kind of interested in the direction you're taking one of the weapons. Obviously, the Greatsword is going to be a highly popular weapon, so it's important that you nail the feeling of impact without compromising the smoothness of the gameplay. You first showed us this back in early 2022 with the Melee Showcase, and I personally thought that you had the Greatsword in a really great spot back then almost perfect i'd say and that even extends to the dagger animations you showed by the way i thought you guys had really nailed it however i do remember you were saying you were having some issues with the animation side of things towards the bottom half of your characters that would be the legs for the low iqs out there it's clearly extremely difficult to animate and create a combat system that has impact and smoothness for heavy style weapons but allow me to show the audience a clip from that pvp caravan and showcase. When you switched the camera to the tank, I think it was, he was wielding a greatsword, and the animations for that greatsword were very different to what we saw in 2022. And I'm not sure it's a step in the right direction, if I'm being brutally honest. The new animations have clearly had huge improvements to the footwork, don't get me wrong, but it definitely feels like the impact of the weapon has been compromised. This could all just be old animations from many, many builds back, of course, so I remain optimistic with your progress on this front. Remember, combat is the most crucial part of the game, and you've done a really great job with the range side of things. So now it's time to show off the melee and where that really shines. Fast-paced, impactful, action-style, front-line brawling. But as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit more than the last one. I know I've been kind of off this month in general with no streaming and lack of videos, but I am genuinely struggling with Ashes of Creation right now. I obviously still support the game fully and will never stop following it, but it's important for me to stay true to my feelings about the project and Intrepid's open nature allows me to do that. I'm not worried about being a brand risk because I know 
intrepid want to listen. But I digress. I'll conclude the video with a quick shill for my stream over at twitch.tv forward as we'll be deep diving the stream on Friday and I'll see you in the next one because I'm high on copium. <laughs>